September 7th, 2017. And what I don't like about this hurricane is that the media is referring to it as a nuclear storm. Right there, it's, that's a bad omen to begin with. This video is called, Will Hurricane Irma Grind Up Turkey Point Nuclear Plant? And this is very concerning. We might have our own Fukushima on our hands coming in a couple days. And the reason why I say it grind up is because it's kind of like a gizzard of the turkey, which grinds up food before it enters the digestive system. And that's exactly what this hurricane is going to do. It's going to grind up this Turkey Point nuclear power plant and possibly another power plant in Florida. But the main one of concern I'm only going to cover in this uh, video is this Turkey Point. Now, here is the location of the nuclear power plants in, in Florida. Here's Turkey Point. The nuclear generating station. The other one is the St. Lucie nuclear power plant. They got Crystal River coal and nuclear power plant right here. Now, I want to say that I believe that these hurricanes are getting out of hand. And it's a direct result of Fukushima. It's the radiation that's being put into the ocean from the leak that has been going on for close to seven years already. And if you notice in the North Pacific Sea surface temperatures, after Fukushima, they're going through the roof now. And this is only going up until before 2015, and the waters are getting hotter. And don't think that the North uh, Pacific only stays on the Pacific. This is the the oceans and seas are one. They get distributed eventually. Now here is what I'm talking about. I want to cover this because this is exactly what's happening. With this is the reason why we're having these uh, hurricanes, and they're getting more intense because the oceans are getting hotter. Now see how the plume from Fukushima is going and scattering throughout the oceans of the world. Now this is what I wanted to show you off of this Any News website. It says that the results of this test of the sea water, there's a spike of rare radioactive materials from Fukushima. It has a half-life of 15 million years. Now this stuff is going to be here forever. This is iodine-129. And when they tested this, it literally had in a liter of this seawater 1.7 billion atoms. Now, these, uh, these uh, radiation is giving off energy, and this is what's warming up these oceans. And there's no stopping this. We're, I think we're doomed. Now, the half-life of this iodine-129, it's 15 million years, so this is going to be here forever. And this is just one isotope that went into the oceans. Now, Turkey Point, it's a twin reactor nuclear power station. It's two miles east of Homestead, Florida. It's only 25 miles south of Miami, Florida. It's near the southernmost edge of Miami-Dade County. Now here's an acronym, MTHM, which means metric ton of heavy metal. Now this is a summary of current locations of spent nuclear fuel and high-level radiation waste in the United States. There's the MTHM. If you look down to Florida, this Turkey Point, units, two units, contains 720 metric tons of spent nuclear fuel. Now this St. Lucia, it's got two units of 715 metric tons. 
Now, keep in mind, we're going to keep track of these numbers on the Nuclear Emergency Tracking Center. Now, some of these are going through the EPA RADnet, but they only have one or two in Florida here. We're going to check this today. This current CPM is 111. The lowest it's been is 82, and the high has been 176. And this is coming out of Orlando, Florida. And this Tallahassee, it's 173. So if something really happens and this site can be trusted, these numbers are going to go through the roof. So we want to keep an eye on this. Just to throw this in here, Houston, which we had the STP nuclear down there, which we still haven't heard anything about, is 154. Now here are the bad boys themselves. Here's the two reactors. Now, let's first do the location where this is located at, which is very scary. And in conjunction with this hurricane, it's at the tip of Florida. Now, the location of that is, is pretty scary. Here's where the, the hurricane is right here. Here's the eye. Actually, the edge of the, the hurricane is going to start hitting that area Saturday night into Sunday morning. This is going to be a crucial day for this hurricane. Now let's come back in here and take a look. I find this interesting. Maybe someone could throw a comment in. Look at this trench that they had dug. I don't know if this is an overflow or this is where they're getting them sucking the water out of. But look at this trench that is in this water here. Isn't that interesting? what this trench is, what they do with this trench in here. Now, if we look at this nuclear power plant, this is about as close as we can get here. Now, there is a, a barrier over here. And right now, I guess they're, they're kind of tightening stuff down and getting rid of loose stuff because this stuff is going to start flying all over the place with these these intense winds that are going to hit this place but this basically is going to be inundated and flooded now unlike STP they are not they're not running at full steam ahead which is smart but they have a large inventory of spent nuclear fuel and highly radioactive materials in this place There's that right there. And let's spin this around. There's the hurricane. And it was really weird. It's almost like an alley. The way this hurricane is going to come. It's like an alley. It's going to hit straight for Florida like, like, a, like a bowling pin and knock this state over big time now here is the hurricane watch and if you notice this is the area the alert area for this Miami County and it's including that nuclear power station this is what's going to be very scary for the people and the crew that's going to be working there and whether it's going to be able to face the storm is this storm surge. The local forecast is life-threatening storm surge possible, peak storm surge inundation, potential for 10 feet above ground somewhere within the surge prone areas. And you could read this all yourself, but... Uh, this is not looking good at all with flooding, possible tornadoes, 
Definite threat to life and property is elevated. It says peak wind forecast is between 110 and 130 miles per hour with gusts up to 170. Saturday morning until early Monday morning. Now here is the earth.nullschool.net. This is showing the hurricane. Let's bring this in and I'll show you what they're predicting. And what's amazing, there's three active uh, hurricanes set up. What's weird too is it looks like it's a six, six, six. These are totally evil entities that are going to just pound and destroy a lot of stuff over here. But if you look at what they're predicting that it's going to, the course it's going to take, and right at this dot here is where the nuclear power plant is. And since it's not hitting any land, it's going to stay as powerful as it can get. Right there, look at how it's as close as we can get, but look at this hurricane. It's just going to destroy these people. Look, at it's, that's where it's going to be. The, they're predicting the center of the eye of the storm of the hurricane is going to be hitting on 910. Look at that. There's going to be a massive storm surge over here. See how all this water, all this wind is going to be pushing the water up. This is very, this is going to be very, very dangerous. And actually, this model is hugging it a little bit more towards the east, where I think they're predicting it's going to go straight up the middle of the uh, panhandle. Also, what's going to t be um, crucial are these tides for Florida. And now here's uh, for Saturday and for Sunday. There's high tide and low tide from the sun and the moon. And there's for the 10th. So hopefully this is not going to hit when the high tide is in because it's going to be even worse. Now here is the Hurricane Irma weather forecast for the storm surge. The wind threat is that whole area. Storm surge and flooding. But here, right here, is where the nuclear power plant is, and the storm surge threat is at extreme. So it's the worst level that you could have is going to be a storm surge hitting that nuclear power plant. So this is not going to be good at all. Now, this is the RADNET air data from Houston, Texas, and I think it's very suspicious that right when um, Hurricane Harvey came in, that they shut the unit down, which they had not done since May, 
and it started back up probably on September 1st. So uh, I would like to know why this was taken offline, if it got flooded, or if they did it on purpose. But what you want to do is keep track of this Miami, Florida, because this is right down the street from uh, the nuclear power plant. And you could see how since May it's been pretty constant. And unless they take them offline, we're going to see. Although, this is suspicious right here. They're already offline. I'm going to refresh this, but this is, uh, this is already offline. Because September 3rd is right here. So, the uh, monitors are off already. So, this is already getting a little suspicious. And this is showing the potential storm surge flooding map. And right here is the um, the cooling. Right here is the cooling canals for the nuclear power plant. Here's the nuclear power plant. So they're not showing it going over 9 feet. Some areas are showing greater than 6 foot. So it's, you can guess all you want, but we won't know until it actually happens. But this is not looking good at all. And I'm going to leave on this note right here. These are the live cameras from Fukushima. And we all better pray that this doesn't happen to um, the Turkey Point. Because like that gizzard, it's going to end up grinding up Turkey Point. And we better hope it doesn't turn into a Fukushima. Because uh, the state of Florida is going to be... Is, is going to really be screwed if that happens. And it just goes to show that uh, nuclear is not the answer. Um, we got to get our, our, uh, our heads together and uh, not build more of them like they want to. And Because um, once this uh, gets contaminated, this stuff is uh, contaminated for hundreds of thousands of years. And just like Fukushima, the government will raise the allowable amount of radiation that uh, you're allowed, and they'll just send you right back into contaminated areas where once they were never supposed to be inhabited. So we all should send out some good thoughts to uh, the people of Florida in this uh, path of the hurricane, and let's just hope that Let's hope for the best and it doesn't do anything to these reactors because this is going to be a catastrophe.